Oh my god, you can see Mickey down here. He's just staring at me. <laughs> so, oh my god, did you see him jump? Do you mind? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna have to work with this. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all, all having a lovely morning, evening, day, whenever it is that you are watching this. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago when me and Charles in England, um, we popped into Primark because I don't have a beauty blend anymore uh, to do my foundation because I think I either threw it away by accident uh, during the move to Portugal or I might have left it in my room back at my mum's. But I have no clue what happened to it so I figured that I would just buy a new one and I didn't want to buy a Real Techniques one. They're not overly expensive. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago when me and Joel went to England, I popped into Primark, well, we popped into Primark because I needed to buy a beauty blender. The normal one I use is the Real Techniques one and it's like, what, five, six pounds? And I didn't want to spend that currently. I might look into buying it depending on how much I like or don't like these ones because they are available over here still. But uh, we popped in, had a look, and I saw these ones, as I said, and it is the PS Dusk 2-Pack Blender Sponge. And as soon as, as I saw this, I knew that I wanted to pick them up because they have sort of like the shape that I wanted, the style of them. It just looks so pretty, and the packaging is cute. Two pounds, you can't really go wrong, it's a pound for each sponge. And the ones that I normally have were the, like, the 2-Pack ones, where you get like a light pink one and a dark pink one, and it's pound fifty for those two. Anyway. I picked these up and I brought them back with me and I've been waiting to film this video because I wanted to try it on camera. The reason why I wanted to try these on camera is because Primark makeup specifically used to have and maybe still does have a tiny bit of stigma around it that it's bad quality. I know that there are some people in the beauty community that test Primark makeup and say that the highlighters are really good, stuff like that. So I figured why not try this and see the quality of it? Because I guess it's fair to say that I am very picky with my beauty blenders. I remember the one I had before, it was the same shape as this one from Primark. And as soon as I switched to the Real Techniques one, I didn't go back purely because the quality of the Real Techniques one was so much better. I have a massive mug of water here with me, which the mug is actually from Primark as well, but it was in Primark around a year ago, so I don't think it's going to be there anymore. I promise this video isn't sponsored or anything by Primark. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just happened to pick this one because it's the biggest mug I have and it's the easiest one to sort of dip it and squeeze it. That's another thing. I always use my sponges wet because my skin is insanely dry. So I don't find using them like this helps. I use them wet so it gives me more of a dewy look. I don't know makeup. Okay, so without further ado, let's get straight into the testing. So the foundation I am going to use today is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid in the shade 03 True Ivory. I love this foundation. It has been sort of like my favourite for like at least a year now. I really, really like it. Um, I'm just not going to be using it from the tube because I have some in a pot that I need to use up. Probably not the most hygienic, but one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer just so you can see. Okay, so now you're a little bit closer, not normally used to this, but yeah. So before I wet my sponge, I'm going to be just taking a little, this literally looks like a paintbrush, but it's a little eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to take it from the pot, like I said, this is my Maybelline foundation, I'm just going to pop it all over my face, I don't prime my face or anything, so I don't know how much I'm using, to be honest. This is probably going to be a lot, but honestly, I have no clue. Because I'm not pumping out, I normally do like one or two pumps or something like that. But because I'm not pumping it, I have no idea. I'm just going with it. I also have a gigantic spot here that is really red. So as I said, this is the part, this looks like a lot of foundation to be honest. So this is the first time I'm dipping it in. Like I said, I'm very intrigued to know whether I'm going to be needing to wet this again. Time to blend. I'm actually really sad about putting the foundation on this because the pattern of this is so pretty. Oh 
I can already feel that on this side it's really dry. I can already feel that it's gone dry already. I'm trying to make this as even as possible. I think I'm going to have to wet it again to be honest. Okay, so now foundation is done. I'm going to do concealer as well. And the concealer that I use every day is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 0 because like I said, I have no colour to my skin. <laughs> so when I wear foundation, I don't put as much concealer on as I would if I'm just doing like concealer powder for my base. Put on the bridge of my nose and then on my little friend there. Okay, I actually really like this for concealer. I feel like I started off like the intro of this video really slating Promark, but this actually isn't too bad. So far I'm not noticing much of a difference. I know I'm being really aggressive with it around my nose, but it's just so I can get it into the nose crease because I have significant redness there. I've just realised I have another little friend down here. Didn't see that until literally just now. And one thing I also like to do when I finish doing my base is just wet it one more, well, in this case, wet it one more time. And then just go over everything once more. Just make everything is like blended better, um, that there isn't like too much excess um, foundation. I don't do anything too drastic but it's just to make sure that everything is blended, it's blended properly down my neck. That is the base done. Okay, so and the powder I'm gonna to use to set it, it's my everyday powder, it's the Kiko Matte Fusion Press Powder. I think this is in the shade 04. I've had this for ages, I've had this since I had my prom in year 11, and I went to the Cambridge store, I think it was with my auntie. Um, if, you want, if you're watching this, Auntie Karen, hi. But yeah, I think I bought this there, and the lady that was at the store, colour matched me. Okay so I'm just going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be back with you in just a second. I've just finished doing my like sort of normal makeup on top of this and I'm going to give you guys my overall verdict of the sponge. So in this video I obviously only tested the one blender which is the one that I normally use. I didn't test the other one. I don't feel like I've done anything that I wouldn't normally do with my Real Techniques sponge so that's really good. This sponge has genuinely beaten all my expectations for it. I originally wasn't very keen, like I said, I think, of buying a Primark sponge because I didn't want to spend the money and then it sort of not be worth it. But it's definitely, definitely worth it for £2, even if I only ever use this one. That's still amazing because it is really good. I can't lie and it the foundation didn't damage the colouring of it as much as I thought it would so I can still keep my like pretty marble look on it but yeah I'm probably gonna end up cleaning this very very often but anyway I'm very happy I would love to test more makeup foundation makeup foundation I would love to test more Primark foundation and um, I also have a couple of Primark video ideas that I want to do specifically with Joelle so if you would like to see any more testing Primark videos or maybe a Primark outfit challenge um, in the near future, give this video a huge thumbs up so I know that you'll be interested in that. Also make sure you hit the subscribe button so I know that you are enjoying my content and you catch my new videos every time I upload in your subscription box. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!